good morning first year become computer applications fit fundamentals of information technology unit 1 types of computers and uh, other important topics today we covered all these things so we continue the last class with the last class so what is hardware and software hardware means the physical parts or the physical components that make up the computer that is cpu memory disk cd rom drives printers like that so there are many hardware components are, are there in a computer or a pc what are they like monitor keyboard mouse dvds or uh, dvd drives <coughs> and uh, power supply units and uh, motherboard ram there are many other uh, memories there are uh, disks and disk drives printers all these are hardware components what is hardware hardware is nothing but it is a physical component of a computer physical component generally they built with electrical electronic and mechanical devices and software what is a software software is a computer program and applications generally software is a collection of a set of programs or a set of uh, application programs developed by the vendors for specific use and a specific application for example sms office ms word tally all these things so basically softwares are uh, two types application software and uh, system software system software is nothing but it is an operating system whereas application software is nothing but it is a commercial application like ms office word excel powerpoint games like that so a computer program or software tells it exactly what to do a computer program is a set of instructions to the computer computer software is the key productive use of computer softwares can be categorized into two types system software and application software so a computer program computer software may have different uh, categories like uh, programming languages application programs system softwares like that generally a software is nothing but it is a program written in written in uh, some high level language or in uh, some application for a commercial purpose so application softwares so what is what are application software application software consists of programs that tell a computer how to produce information some of the more common more commonly used packages are word processing electronic spreadsheets databases presentation software so application softwares are made uh, for uh, special purpose of uh, special purpose programs and uh, specific use only and specific for specific use only like word processing softwares like ms word electronic spreadsheet softwares like ms excel database softwares like ms <coughs> access oracle mysql server like that presentation graphics uh, like uh, ms powerpoint and other softwares these are a specific use only and system software what is a system software the most important system software is operating system examples of operating system are windows dos apple unix like that. so system software means it is developed purely for the system uses only means uh, the most popular system software is operating systems and some utilities and some tools which are used regularly like microsoft uh, examples are like uh, operating systems all operating systems and uh, acrobat raider winrar winjeep all these are system software generally system software may also contain some tools and uh, some <coughs> small utilities so they are generally used for operating system only built up with operating system only examples of operating system are windows 
developed by Microsoft Corporation, DOS, developed by Disk Operating System, developed by Microsoft only, Apple, Unix, like that. So, what is the what is an operating system and uh, what is the purpose or functionalities of operating system? What is the features and functionalities, applications of operating systems? So, operating system is an application software. It is also a computer program. It is also a set of computer programs or a com set of computer applications. Provides the interface between you and the computer. Means generally operating system is a mediator. Acts as a mediator between the user and the computer. So operating system OS is generally acts as a mediator in between the user and the computer controls the hardware of the computer generally all the operating systems are built designed like that it controls or it runs all the hardware components connected to a computer means like uh, operating system only controls and operates and runs the devices connected to a computer like uh, monitors, keyboard, mouse, printers, CD drives, DVD drives, floppy drives, all audio video devices connected like that. So run your computer applications and pro our programs. Another functionality or function of operating system is to run or execute, to run or execute all the programs, all the programs or all the application softwares, all the softwares on a computer. Generally all the programming languages or all the application programs or all the softwares operating systems are runs on a computer with the help of operating system only. So without an operating system a computer can't do anything. It is a dump machine. So next is communicate with your network. Another important uh, feature of operating system is to communicate or to work with networks connected to it means generally in a network there are many number of nodes or number of uh, terminals are connected the role is role of operating system is to send and receive uh, files and uh, messages over a network from one system to another system or one from one user to another user <coughs> so what are the different types of uh, computers are what are the what are the classification of computers what are the classification of uh, computers well, based on different parameters based on their uses and based on based on their uh, applications like that so this is a compulsory setup question one of the compulsory setup question from unit one so classification of computers are types of computers so computers can be classified into three ways first one is according to their function second one is according to their size and capacity and third one is according to their purpose used so computers can be classified or computers are three types based on first one is according to their functionality second one is according to their size and uh, capacity third one is according to their purpose developed or purpose make so first one is according to their function or functionality so according to function or functionality computers can be classified into three types namely analog computers digital computers and hybrid computers so the first category is according to their function means functionality or characteristics computers can be divided into three types first one is analog computers second one is digital computers and third one is hybrid computers so analog computers what is analog and what is digital usually all the measuring devices are called analog computers usually all the measuring devices are called as analog computers what are measuring devices means not quantitative 
not quantity 2 for example wall clocks so next is analog computers what are analog computers so according to function or functionality according to function or functionality computers are divided into three categories analog computers digital computers and uh, hybrid computers so analog computers means usually all the measuring devices are called as analog computers like measuring temperatures examples are measuring some temperatures pressures uh, heat and uh, thermometers all these are called as analog computers so digital means measuring measuring with some numbers or numbering measuring with some numbering or, or uh, using the uh, that type of uh, measuring is called as digital devices measuring with uh, uh, non digital devices are called as analog computers so an analog computing device can be measured only the continuous variable quantities such as temperatures pressures voltages and sounds so for example measuring some temperatures room temperatures pressures and uh, like uh, taking hot beats measuring hot beats all these are analog computers where the digital signals are digital signals means there are no digital signals are used like uh, digital means numbering there are no numbering systems are used only measurements are taken so that type of devices are called as um, analog computers digital computers so digital computers means digital computers are high speed programmable electronic devices that performs mathematical calculations compare values and store the results they recognize data by counting discrete signals representing either a high or a low voltage state of electricity generally digital computers have measured are used to do uh, large uh, high uh, calculations perform mathematical calculations uh, compare values and using some digits means numbering systems generally in digital computers we may use binary number system that is 0 or 1 why because all <coughs> digital computers are made up with uh, binary numbers or uh, they are made up with some electrical signals 0 or 1 or on or off on means high signal off means low signal so all digital computers are and uh, digital equipments are generally working with binary values that are that is zero and ones hybrid computers so hybrid computers means they are having both the features of digital and analog computers in special situations digital and analog computers have been combined to create hybrid computers the capacity of a hybrid computer is most significant where the digital processing of data collected in analog form is desirable petrol pump machines and uh, speedometers are some examples of hybrid computers so what are hybrid computers in hybrid computers we may use both the features of analog as well as digitals we may use both the features of analog as well as digital means we measure uh, or we are taking both the types of signals so this is first type of computers so what are the first type of computers according to their functionality according to their functionality is the first type of computers so what are next uh, uh, second type of computers according to their size and capacity <coughs> according to their size and capacity computers are divided into or classified into according to their size occupied and capacity means the capacity of a computer so these are basically five types first one is laptop or notebook palm tops etc 
desktops etc second one is micro computers mini computers <coughs> macro computers means mainframes supercomputers so in the first category desktops laptops notebooks palm tops like that second one is micro computers mini computers micro macro computers or mainframes supercomputers so laptop or notebook or palm top means these are the smallest computers in the size look like official office uh, briefcase geometry box they are termed as portable computers these are very popular in use because of small size and less weight is <coughs> second one is tablets or tablet computers newest development in portable computers input is through a pen or run specialized versions of office products third one is micro computers what are micro computers micro computers are small machines they are also called as desktops or pcs personal computers these are low in price means the price of micro computer is less or low it is cheaper so there is no difficulty to maintain and small business application can run on it home computer home computer work can be performed it is also called as pc or a personal computer generally all desktop computers So first one is micro computers. Micro means they are also called as desktop computers or PCs, personal computer. Micro computers are also called as desktop computers and PCs, personal computers. So they are small in size and a small machines are they are also called as desktop machines. Also called as desktop machines. They are very low and cheap systems or machines. and uh, there is almost no maintenance all the applications small business applications can run on it home computers they are also called as home computers means generally we may use in we use them in all offices and homes like that it is also called as a pc or a personal computer <coughs> or a desktop computer so computer set home many homes have multiple computers most american homes have internet computers are used for business entertainment uh, communication education like that so second category is mini computers <coughs> mini computers are also called as mid range computers mini computers are also called as mid range computers power uh, between mainframe and desktops handle hundreds of users used in small organizations uh, very popular for uh, time sharing operating systems these computers are used in laboratories for all types of engineering and scientific works so these are also called as mid range or middle range computers uh, they consumes power between mainframes and desktops means above desktop and uh, below main frames generally they can support hundreds of users multi users they can support hundreds of users means multi user operating systems or multi user systems multi user means more than one user can operate the same or can share the same computer can share the resources of the computer used in small organizations means all the middle range mid range organizations or the offices can be operated <coughs> and very popular for time sharing operating systems generally they can be used frequently in laboratories and engineering and scientific works next is macro computers or mainframe computers main frame computers they are large in size also called as mainframe computers used for networking as a main server 
mainframe computer supports thousands of users used in worldwide airline reservation system they are used for a high amount of data processing and used as centralized data machine that is city bank credit card machines like that so these are the very costly machines very large in size they are also called as mainframe computers and uh, generally they can be used as servers in a large network generally they can support thousands and millions of users generally they can support thousands of users thousands and uh, lakhs of users generally these computers are used for uh, airline reservations and uh, <coughs> weather forecasting like that banking insurances areas super computers so they are very large in size they are also very large in size used for uh, complex scientific and engineering calculations its capabilities are much more than mainframes very costly super computers support small number of users these are used in uh, nuclear physics weather forecast and satellite controlling so generally these are mainly used in weather forecasting technologies or forecast uh, find out whether uh, weather situations in the future days very large in size and very costly computers and uh, very costly and limited number of users supports only lim limited number of users so the most powerful computers made are called as supercomputers handle large and complex large and complex calculation generally these uh, supercomputers can be used for large complex scientific and engineering calculations and they are designed like that process trillions of operations per second generally these are used to do trillions of operations or trillions of commands per second found in research organizations means our research and development areas we may use supercomputers and they can do uh, trillions of uh, calculations and trillions of operations instructions per second according to purpose so another category of uh, computers are another type of uh, category or another category of computers are designed like with uh, categorized according to their purpose used means general purpose computers and special purpose computers general purpose computers and special purpose computers general purpose computers these computers are designed to perform various tasks and can be used for different calculations of data for example personal computers can perform different tasks of work it can compute data it can solve different problems it can play music videos like that so general purpose computers are also called as desktop computers designed to perform various tasks can be used for uh, doing different calculations of uh, doing different tasks at calculations special purpose computers so these type of computers can do only predefined work and is useless for any other kind of work for example visa card machine can only insert visa cards and can verify them it cannot calculate any data so special purpose computers are also are designed uh, for doing only a specific predefined specific predefined tasks tasks only for example atm machines in atm machines generally we can insert Uh, some uh, card with magnetic material and uh, doing some uh, cash transactions only not uh, doing not um, they are not designed to do some calculations or uh, or uh, something else so this type of uh, machines are called as special purpose computers so this is in a set up question compulsory set up question from first unit thank you